Can intermittent fasting help you? Let's find out. Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Ask Dr. Paquel Show, where we help people find answers who have chronic health conditions, chronic health problems. And today we're going to talk about intermittent fasting. This topic comes up a lot with our patients. A lot of people want to do it or try it or want to know what it's all about. And especially at the beginning of the year when people are looking for different uh, programs or different ways to lose weight or get in shape, they say, hey, what about this? intermittent fasting, what's that all about? Um, or even some people who do it uh, don't even really know how it works and its benefits. So let's uh, let's dive into that and, and see what it's all about. All right, in fact, let's bring that a little bigger. Okay, so here's what happens with intermittent fasting. Basically, you eat food, which uh, we all do every day, and then that food turns into blood sugar or glucose which really any food that you eat, where you eat a steak, you eat a vegetable, you eat a piece of candy, you eat a piece of bread, all this partial component of all that is blood sugar. Turns in, but at different rates because it goes through your intestines at a different speed or a different amount of time it takes to break down. And then once that blood sugar, that glucose, its next step is to go to your cells, go to your organs, and that's to give you energy. So this is fuel for your body that you need. Now, what happens if there's excess? Because there's almost always excess. Uh, usually we are eating multiple times per day. We're eating meals. We're, we're really always getting more than the body needs um, usually. So where does that excess go? It gets stored in the liver and it gets stored as fat tissue. So it goes into storage. Now, this is important because that storage is, let's say you do decide to do a fast. Well, what's going to happen is if you fast and you stop eating altogether, your body's going to say, you know what, let's dip into storage. Well, where's the first storage that you dip into? Is it the fat cells? No. Actually, you use the liver. It's called glycogen, stored glycogen. So the liver is the first place we go. And then so we're going to use that stored blood sugar. And the liver has enough to last you about 10 to 12 hours. So you'll burn through that. Now, if you exercise, you'll burn through it even faster. But about 10 to 12 hours worth in the liver. Once you deplete the liver, the body says, hey, guys, we're out of fuel. Or, hey, girls, we're out of fuel. Let's get some more. Now let's reach into a different type of storage. Let's reach into those fat cells and let's um, start burning ketones. So basically, which are fatty acids. So you break down your fat cells. Those turn into fatty acids. And then those fatty acids have to travel back up to the liver. And then your body, they can turn those into more uh, fuel for you, for your brain and for your body. Your body can start to live on these ketones. Now, if this, if all of this is working properly, if you're digesting properly, if your liver's working right, if all these, then yeah, you'll actually go into a fast and start burning fat. And that's really the, what people want. They want to, hey, I want to lose weight. I want to have more energy. And uh, how can I do that by fasting? So again, if the body's working pretty good, then this usually isn't a problem. So what are the benefits of fasting? Well, the first one can be weight loss. Now, I would say if you have other health conditions going on, inflammation in your body, issues with your liver, issues with maybe even the gallbladder, issues with uh, blood sugar, um, I mean, actually quite a few different things that could uh, potentially hold you back from eventually getting to that level of being able to utilize ketones. And um, for you, maybe if you try fasting, it might make you feel worse. So then you got to think, hey, maybe I need to get some things checked out before I dive into this. All right. But typically weight loss will, and, and not only weight loss, but changes in body composition. This can be very beneficial. Also improves insulin sensitivity. 
So what happens there is as you eat through the day when you're eating your regular like breakfast, lunch, dinner, things like that, every time you eat, you get a surge in insulin, a spike in insulin. And we always eat or make more insulin than we probably should. And these regular spikes start to decrease insulin sensitivity. And that can eventually lead to prediabetes, diabetes type 2, um, decreased insulin sensitivity. So it takes more insulin, which is inflammatory at high levels, to do less. Then also, what are the benefits of the intermittent fasting too? Decreases inflammation in the body. You when you when you cut out food, yeah, your body's like, hooray, we don't have to deal with this. Our gut gets a little bit of a break. And then actually certain anti-inflammatory factors in the body improve. And so um, also it decreases oxidative stress. So you could say intermittent fasting is also an antioxidant uh, way to do things. Another thing that it does is it lowers cardiovascular risk. And it does that by uh, decreasing uh, these um, uh, to, to a degree bad fatty, bad cholesterol. Um, you get more uh, better fuel to the heart. Um, and, uh, this can actually show up on lab tests and, and things can really look pretty good on the cardiovascular side, it improves glucose metabolism. So you'll start to metabolize blood sugar better, uh, when you do start eating or when you eat again, when you break your fast and then improves athletic performance. Studies have shown that intermittent fasting can increase the way your muscles use blood sugar and better endurance, strength, things like that. And then also improves gut issues. We kind of talked about that. You take all this pressure off the gut. You're not eating for a period of time. Your gut goes, hooray. Hey, I can start to heal and repair because I don't have this constant junk coming into my system all the time. And then also improves immune function. It's been found when you fast, you actually, your immune system starts to work more efficiently, better, and fasting can actually help you to uh, fight off bad guys or um, detoxify better. Uh, and another interesting one here is increasing what's BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. So what happens is when you're fasting, your brain actually has to work a little differently and it actually starts to increase connectivity between neurons and um, which is great. That's why a lot of people who do fasting, they'll say, gosh, I'm thinking clearer. Um, uh, I feel like brain fog is going away. And then overall, what does all this do? It increases longevity, which is uh, exciting stuff. So, and we all would like to have, I'm sure, uh, better uh, longevity there. All right. So these are the advantages, the benefits of intermittent fasting. And in the next video, we're going to talk about the different types of intermittent fasting. So watch that. And um, I will talk to you on the, on the next one. See you soon. God bless.